Today on Budget Filmmaking, we're making quasar science tubes for just $10. Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Carroll here, and today we are making these Quasar Science Tube replicas for $10. And before we start, I'm gonna show you some example footage of how you could use these. So as you can see, these things look really good and really close to actual quasars. So now let's go ahead and build one. So here's everything you're gonna need to build one of these quasar science tubes. LEDs, fluorescent tube sort of guard cover thing, power adapter, scissors, tape, some sort of paper, an X-Acto knife. All right, so now let's go ahead and build one of these. Now that our paper's cut, we can go ahead and test fit it into the tube. So just go ahead and take off the end caps and then go and slide the paper in and make sure it fits. All right, so it looks like this one fit perfectly. So what you'll notice is that what we want is we want it to, the seam to just overlap itself, just barely. You don't want a, a really large overlap. So now that we know that it fits, we can just go ahead and cut the excess off the end since these tubes are actually a little bit under four feet. So now with our paper fully cut, we can go ahead and Slide the paper back on out. And now we're ready to add our LEDs to it. So you'll notice that there is an adhesive backing on it. However, I wouldn't actually recommend using it just because it's not perfectly flat. You'll notice that there's little gaps in it like that. And it'll just end up like just crumpling and creasing all the paper when you go and slide it in the tube. So I just wouldn't do that. So what we want to do is we want to tape this pretty much as close to the edge as possible. Just like that. And then we'll just go ahead and continue taping this all the way down the rest of the, the side of the piece of paper. All right, so once you get to the end here, we're gonna wanna go ahead and flip the LEDs around to the other side. And so here's where it can get a little bit tricky because we have to get the second side here onto this edge of the paper. And so this is gonna be looping back around. And so we just kinda of have to pull the paper close here so that we can see where we need to tape the LEDs. So they go about there. All right, and so you'll see how that looks. And then just continue taping the LED strip all the way down the paper. All right, and once you get to the end, you'll probably have some extra LED strips hanging off the end. So just go ahead and cut that across the copper contacts here. All right, so now with that done, uh, we are pretty much finished. So all we have to do now is just slide this back into the plastic tubing. All right, and just be careful when you're inserting this back in that that doesn't happen. Um, you just don't want it to crease as you reinsert it. So now we just have to replace the end caps. And one last final thing you could do is if you want to cover the little hole on the end, you can just take some black electrical tape and just cover that up. So let's go ahead and plug it in. Plug that in there, and there we go. All right, so there you go. That is how you build one of your own Quasar Science tubes. Uh, some final things, uh, daisy chaining. If you wanna daisy chain them, best thing I found was to get one of these and this right here is a daisy chaining cable for guitar pedals. And so you'll notice it's got eight different ends on it. And then here's where you plug it in, plug this cable in, and then I can take this, plug this into one of them. And then I can grab another one here, plug that in to another one of these outlets here. And you'll see we've got two of them working. 
And as for mounting these things, that can be kind of tricky. So the thing I found that worked best was for vertical mounting on a light stand. I have this ceiling grid hanger wire, bend this around the tube, and then clip this onto a light stand. Also another thing that I found that worked well for horizontal mounting is this clamp that I had laying around from a laser level. Um, of course, you're probably not gonna have one of these, um, but something that's this sort of a design where it's got a, a wide clamp on the end and then a quarter 20 on the other side is probably gonna work well for you. So probably something like a reflector holder might work. So there you go. That's how you can build your own Quasar Science Tube for just $10. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up down below. Comment and subscribe for future content. And I will see you guys in the next video.